So this makes about the tenth time that this engine has died. And the only way you can even get it to run um, is to have the choke nearly all the way on. So uh, still trying to figure out either it uh, needs the carburetor adjusted or maybe the fuel line's collapsing or something along that line. But definitely not getting enough fuel. So you have to shut off some of the air by turning the choke on to get it to run. See if I can get you to see it always starts right back up. Well, I uh, got this motor tore down. Basically, it's not a big deal. I got a couple of um, screws to take off. There's so one there, one there, one in the back. There might be two in the bottom. You got to take this breather cap off. Once you get all that done, the carburetor sits right here. You've got your supply line, which is the black one, and the return line, which is the clear one. And right here is an idle air adjustment screw. Basically, what I did was I started it up with a choke on, so a cold engine, and let it get up to operating temperature. Then I kept the uh, RPMs up, and I shut the choke off, so all the way down. Um, and what I had to do was, with the throttle wide open to get it to run, at wide open throttle and run the smoothest I had to back this screw out about a half a turn once I did that now it runs fine and let me uh, see if I can show you this so the motor's still warm the choke is off let's see if I can start this one-handed wide open throttle see it wasn't dying like it was out on the lake and uh that fixed it so now all i gotta do is put it back together and take it out on the lake tomorrow and test it with it all back together